What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, I promised you guys that I was going to be grinding, I was going to be capturing some Pokemon, and man, has this game been good to me. Honest to God, guys, I started playing Pokemon Shield just to get, you know, acquainted with the area. Never knew that there was going to be a lot of content to just, you know... To just go over and all that stuff and I never knew on how many Pokemon you can actually find in the beginning and that's what happened in the, like off screen I got a lot of Pokemon so let's go ahead and take a look at our PC right here guys now I also said that I was going to go to I was gonna uh, I was gonna transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Shield some Pokemon that you don't normally see here in uh, in Pokemon Sword and uh, yeah, I was going to get some Pokemon too, you know, starter Pokemon and all that stuff and just put them right here. One of which is our good old bunny, our good old buddy, Score Bunny right here. Now, it is at level 1. I did breed it from an egg when it was a Cinderace and all that stuff. I'm going to keep it in the PC right here for, for the time being because eventually we're going to be needing this Pokemon right here. It is a very, very good Pokemon to actually have. And another... Two Pokemon that we have is Gaia 2 and Gaia 1. Obviously, one's female and one's male. We both know where this is going to be going. Now, here we have Hydra. We caught ourselves quite a few Dragon-type Pokemon. So, uh, just a little bit more Dragon-type Pokemon than I normally caught in Shield, like Noibat. Noibat right here is a Pokemon from Unova, or no, not from Unova, but from Kalos. And this Pokemon I really wanted to use on my team in Pokemon X and Y. Uh, more than likely, I will be using this Pokemon in a future iteration of Pokemon Y. Now, the most important Pokemon that I've found here, besides from Jangmo'o, is Applin. Now, I never really knew this, but Applin is also a Dragon-type Pokemon. Look at that, a Grass and Dragon-type. Female, we got it, uh, we caught it as a Dynamax. And, <laughs> yeah, like I said, this, this game has been good to me. And I'm going to be keeping it right here on the team, like on the team's page right here, or the team's PC. Now, the other Pokemon that I've actually got to is Ponyta, Galarian Pon Ponyta. I actually transferred this Pokemon over from Pokemon Shield. Other Pokemon such as, let's see, who else did I transfer over? Now, I did transfer over Krogunk, uh, Or Oranguru, Throw from a Pokemon, uh, what you might call it, Shield. As you can see, it's at level 53. Not going to use him right now. Can't use him right now because of the leveling and all that stuff. And other Pokemon as well as, uh, you know, Lotad caught him too. So, yeah, I've been doing some work, guys. Now, here is a thing. This game, again, has taught me how to come up with so many other teams, have other teams on standby because of the ex experience candies and all that stuff. And just by the amount of experience points you can get in the uh, wild area later on. So, one thing that I've been wanting to do, one thing, is that I've been always, like, I've always wanted to use a Janmo O in Pokemon Sun and Moon. If you guys don't remember, my 10 year anniversary was supposed to be Sun and Moon, and things kind of, <laughs> things kind of, you know, uh, hit the shit, like, shit hit the fan, basically. So, I'm going to like I'm going to show you guys a Pokemon. I'm actually going to put a team a Pokemon on my team from the Pokemon Sun and Moon series that I've been wanting to use. And luckily for us, it's at level 20. I think I leveled him up quite a bit when I when I caught him and all that stuff. So we're going to be using Jamo right here as one of our Pokemon because eventually it evolves into a fighting type Pokemon. And in this game and in Pokemon Shield, you're going to need <laughs> there's a lot of Steel type Pokemon out here, including uh, Fairy type. So just keep an eye out for that. Again, guys, this is the reason why I don't have any background right here. And I know that I've seen on my comments somebody asking me to put uh, the background in. Sorry, won't be doing that. Again, it's too much work for so many Pokemon right here. So now, what are we going to nickname Jamo'o right here? Jamo'o is a pretty, good, uh, it's a pretty good name. But since it was supposed to be one of our Pokemon from Pokemon Sun and Moon, I'm going to nickname him into something pretty awesome right here. I was watching the movie a, a few days ago. Kind of reminded me of this Pokemon right here because both it's a dragon type Pokemon and it will evolve into a fighting type Pokemon as well. So say hello to uh, Drago. If I could spell it right. There we go. 
Drago. Hold on, hold on. Named after Ivan Drago and Victor Drago from the uh, from the Rocky Creed movies. Alrighty, so that is pretty much it right there. Let us continue our adventure now. Okay, so <laughs> the next route we're gonna have to go to is Route Three. But before we do anything, we're gonna have, we're gonna be going through this town right here. I know went through it just a little too quickly because well, I kind of wanted to get things going. And well, let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on outside. So. As you probably already know, guys, you will be finding some rare items on the ground, and they're going to be clear, they're going to be visible for you guys, so just make sure to keep an eye out for the ground if you see something sparkly. And this guy never gets tired of that, so let's see what this guy, well, good day to you. Let's see what this place is all about right here. It's a, it's a small tour of this whole place. In the Gala region, it's only natural that we help each other out. The cleaning I do is just, just, just volunteer work. Wow. It's a very clean place, so let's go ahead and see what's inside this place right here. And, well... Kabu's the flaming star that crashed into the Gala region from the distant landing of Hoenn. Really? And welcome to the uniform shop. Are you looking into anything particular? So in this place right here, you can actually buy uniforms for your gym battles. In gym battles, you're going to be wearing a uniform every single time, and of course it has the ghost uniform, ice... Bug, steel, psychic, electric, ground, flying, normal, and poison. Now remember, guys, in Pokemon Shield, in Pokemon Shield, there are two gym leaders that are different from the ones in Pokemon uh, in Pokemon Sword. So just be aware of that stuff right here. I believe it's the Ice type and uh, Ice type, and I believe the Ghost type trainers that are different from there to here. So let's see. Talk to this guy. Even if there's no point in having a chin wag, it's still great to hear the voice of uh, someone like you like. I don't even know what that means. Now here's an open crevice right here. As you can see, there's a hidden item. A pair of black glasses. Yes, sir. We're finding good items right here. And well, let us continue on right now. This place is super clean, and uh, this is a new place right there. Okay, so we can easily transfer right there. And well. Like I said, guys, you're gonna be able to find some items right here that you can uh, you can easily see. And well, again, I'm telling you guys this right now, man. I'm looking, I'm loving the 3D, the graphics right here. And holy crud! The heck? Oh damn, that's a Volibi, right? Yeah, there's some Pokemon that just love to battle. I guess there's lots of different ways to live with Pokemon. That is true. Now Volibi is a is another Pokemon that I actually got from the shield version that way I can actually have most of the exclusive Pokemon right here again one of the goals right here is to actually complete the Pokedex and well we found a great ball so now we're gonna be moving on right here and look at that man this town is looking spectacular and all that stuff and well let's go right ahead and see what is up top right here so I'm here there's a train station right there guys and, well, let's see. I believe there's another area right here where you can actually find some cool items. And look at that. Why not? Why is he not playing that game? Alrighty, okay. So look at this. This town is pretty big, industrialist, and all that crud. There's another Pokemon Center right there. And, well, let's see. There is an item that we failed to get. And look at that. We found ourselves a Silscar that will actually work for our, you know, normal type Pokemon. And, well, let's see. What are they looking at? The gym leaders battle each other separately from gym challenge in order to determine who is stronger. That is true, guys. Eventually, you're going to be battling you're going to be battling the gym leaders again, which is pretty cool. And whoa, look at this. Man, Nintendo has uh, really outdone itself and right here we're going to be finding an X accuracy, which is pretty damn good. And well, let's see. Going down the stairs, man. Look at that. Man. <laughs> Again, I'm, 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 like, I can't believe I'm playing Pokemon Sword and Shield. The years that we've progressed and all that stuff. Now, m mind you that I've been playing Pokemon since it started, so you don't know how, how awesome this is for me right here, guys. And I sense great potential as you, or as a trainer in you, but it's still a bit early. Please come back when you're the champion. I am going to go to you when I'm uh, in Pokemon Shield and all that stuff. And here we have the TMO2 Payday. Hmm. Can use that for a for a good old buddy Meowth, and it looks like we can fish right here. Look at that. 
And let's see, what, what, what did we find? And we found ourselves a regular Magikarp. All right, Balto. Look at that booty. Big booty Balto, ready to kick some butt. So let's go with a nuzzle right here. I know that you guys have been looking forward to a battle, so here it is. Big booty Balto, kicking the crap out of uh, Magikarp right here. Look at that. Magikarp has no shot whatsoever. And here we go with a nuzzle attack. All righty, okay, all right. Let's go. All righty, okay. So Drago gets his experience points and all that stuff. So, yeah, guys. Uh, when I wanted when I, when I was gonna play Pokemon Sword or Sun and Moon, Jangmo was one of the Pokemon that I wanted to use as a Pokemon. You don't you don't get them until close to the very end. You get them as a Jangmo with like maybe one or two levels to evolve, and then evolving it w wouldn't be that hard again because it would have been at like level 40, level 45. So it wouldn't a big, it wouldn't a big, it wouldn't have been a big, big deal for me. It's just you know me trying to capture these Pokemon and all that stuff. And plus, how many times have you guys seen a Dragon type Pokemon on my team since I restarted this whole thing? It's been quite a while. Alrighty, so here we are, guys. Route number three, finally. And well, let's go ahead and show off our our Drago right here now. Kind of want to put one more Pokemon on our team just to start growing levels right here. So, I want to use Score Bunny. I really do. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's use another native Pokemon. Let's use another native Pokemon. I'm going to be using... Can't use these guys right now because they're too overpowered. Let's go right ahead and use Caterpie right here since it will evolve with leveling up so you're gonna be seeing a lot of evolutions guys a lot of leveling up and all that crud with Pokemon that I you know barely even use but as for me just to try to uh, finish off the Pokedex right here so let's see what this guy has to say if your precious Pokemon get injured don't forget to heal him up at the, with a potion and you need antidotes to fix the poison just remember to stock up on items and you won't have to visit Pokemon centers often okay all right good advice and would you look at that? We're starting to see some new Pokemon right here. Here we have uh, Skunky or Skunk Out or whatever that Skunk Pokemon. And finally, a battle. Let's go. You saw the opening ceremony, right? Then you know I, I, I'm excited. To, uh, why am I excited and want to battle? Alrighty, let's go. Finally, a battle in quite some time. Last Ray wants the battle. Let's do this, girl. And here she comes out with her Volpix. Let's go, Drago. Now, there is one little downside to Drago, and that is that it is a little bit slow, but eventually it gets strong. And look at that, it does have Dragon Tail. So here we go. Ember Attack doesn't really affect my Jangmo oh, or Drago. And wow, that's quite in. This Pokemon's avoiding everything. So here we go, Headbutt. And look at that, look at that. Okay. Okay, so here we go again with another headbutt attack. And this Pokemon right here... Again, you're going to have to get used to using newer Pokemon right here, guys. And here we go, Jagmo, ready for a headbutt. Say goodbye to Vulpix. By the way, caught a Vulpix, named it Zoro. If you guys don't remember, Pokemon Emerald caught that Pokemon. Literally thought I was going to be my next Pokemon, but didn't really use him. Torkoal really showed out right there. Okay, so here we have some different Pokemon right now. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and swap out our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and use Michelangelo, or Michelangelo. And since we do have some items right here, let's go ahead and, uh, well, let's go ahead and give him some items, some, well, some, some useful items. As you can see, I've been doing some work with the Dynamax Pokemon. I have a lot of experience candy right here. Dynamax candy, rare candies as well. But I won't be using that very well. I won't be using that right now because I will be going back and forth to the Dynamax place. And well, we got black glasses. Nobody can use them. No, actually, nobody can use them. And I just remember that Caterpie only has one HP. That is a Caterpie that I actually caught as a Dynamax. So that's why it's at level 16. So I guess healing it up would actually work right there. So there it is, using a potion. And let us move on right here. And I see a new Pokemon right there now. 
Here we have three heal balls, pretty good stuff. I already bought some off screen over at the uh, what was it? Over at the, uh, the 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 wild place right here. And here we have these flower Pokemon, so I might as well capture one of these guys. Because eventually, it becomes very useful for one of the gym battles, which is a water-type gym. I think that's a second gym. So let's go right ahead and start using our bite attack and everything. Michelangelo using bite. And yes, you cannot move. So here we go again. Bite attack from Michelangelo himself. And... Wow, I did not know that you had rapid spin. And would you look at that, speed has risen. So... I think it's okay to actually capture him right now, so let's go right ahead and let's see. We got a nest ball right here, so let's go right ahead and use that. Alrighty. One, two, three. Let's go. Alrighty. Okay. Gussie Fleur was cut. And yes, our Pokemon grow, 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 and well, what do we got right here? So here is Gussie Fleur. The flowering Pokemon, it anchors itself in the battle with a, its single leg, then basks in the sun. After absorbing enough sunlight, its petals spread as it blooms brilliantly. It's pretty cool. Pretty good Pokemon. So this guy will be sent to the box. And, okay, so let us move on right here. And, of course, I'm going to get attacked again by this Pokemon. Uh-oh. It doesn't look so happy because I caught its friend, so... I guess. Oh wow, it's the more powerful of the two. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, no worries. I'll still, I'll still train them and all that stuff. That's why there's some Pokemon jobs out there, right? So here we go again. Another bite attack from Michelangelo, and here comes a sing attack. It did not work, so let's go again. Bite attack for the win. And that wasn't the win, but it made it flinch. So here we go again. One more time. Bite attack. Let's go. Gusset Fluid has been defeated. Alrighty, look at that. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so let's see. We got another Pokemon trainer right here, and she is gonna want to battle. So let's go right ahead and battle now. As I'm right, as I'm doing this, guys, it's the day before Christmas Eve. So I just want to say Merry Christmas to every single one of you guys. Yes, this game has been uploaded on Christmas Eve. Even though I am uploading like four other walkthrough videos. I know, it's been a while since I've actually come out. Came out with a sword a walkthrough video. But that is because I wanted to at least bring up the, uh, or get some Pokemon from the other version right there. And look at that, we're getting our butts kicked right now. What the hell? And here we have our good old buddy, Optimus Prime. Ready to kick some butt right here. Let's go with a branch poke. Let's go. Branch poke. Look at that. Panchamp's not having a chance right here, and here he comes with the tackle attack. Okay, alrighty. Let's go with a double hit. Okay, double hit. Does its thing, but it's just a single hit. It's okay, it's okay. So yeah, guys, uh, for those, my, uh, I, I, I think I, I know this. I know this, and I'm not trying to be, like, stereotypical or anything, but to my Mexican friends out there, Merry Christmas to you guys. I have been to uh, have been to a kickback one time where, you know, technically the 24th is Christmas for our Mexican friends right here, and at midnight, which is technically the 25th, that's when they open presents. That's the rule. I've been to one of those kickbacks, and bam. <laughs> so Merry Christmas to you guys right there, and I'm hoping that you guys enjoy this whole thing right here. I mean, look at that. I'm enjoying it myself, and we couldn't get away. Holy crud. So what does that say about my Pokemon right now? Oh, we need to, we need to, we need to train some more. Let's go, Michelangelo. Oh God, he's not strong enough. So here comes a headbutt from the Star Child himself. And well, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. <sighs> okay, let's go, Jung or Optimus Prime right here. So let's get this. Come on, let's go, Optimus. That's right, get those sticks ready, and here comes a Snarl attack. And so far, oh wow. Yeah, we probably should have trained a little bit more rather than start catching Pokemon. <laughs> so here we go, Razor Leaf does the trick. Say goodbye to this Zigzag Goon. And well, there we go, Michelangelo grows to level 16. I am happy. And you know what, let's go ahead and use one of these, uh, 
these candies right here. Now, I noticed that Shadow Blade is a level away from evolving, so let's go ahead and use the extra small one. So, let's see. Let's, go, let's give it five. And with five, it gives it 500 H, uh, experience points. That's enough to actually evolve it right here. And I think that's the reason to why I didn't actually battle a lot of Pokemon at the wild uh, wild place because I kind of wanted you wanted you guys to see Shadow Blade evolve right here. So here it is, guys. The next evolution in our team, and that is Shadow Blade evolving into Corvus Squire. Look at this Pokemon. It has a Squire at the end of its name. That means it's fancy. Alrighty, so here it is, Corvus Squire. It is a flying Pokemon, the Raven Pokemon right here. Smart enough to use tools in battle. These Pokemon have been uh, seen picking up rocks and flinging them or using ropes to wrap them up, wrap up the enemies. Wow, it is the genius Pokemon right there. Okay, so let's see, you already grew a level. Balto, ah, you know what? Uh, you know what, we're just gonna leave it like that, okay? I kinda wanted to, I just wanted to see, uh, I just wanted to see uh, Shadow Blade to, uh, to evolve and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and put Optimus Prime back at the front. And let's continue on our adventure right here. There are some more Pokemon and we just hit a... Oh wow, we just hit a Machop right here. I don't think I've ever caught this guy right here. And well, we're going to be running away right here because we do not want to battle this guy right now. Now, let's see... Let's see, let's go ahead and read this. Trainer tips, you can set up camp uh, on routes and your Pokemon can earn experience points from camping. Try visiting other people's camps too when you find tents along your way. Alrighty. And look at that. Shiny, but effective. And look at that. We have a ball right there. We see the next town over. And wow, I am uh, running through every single Pokemon right here because why not? Kind of like the why not. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Stunky, I'm probably just going to capture you because, you know, we, we need a Stunky in our team. Or not in our team, but just, you know, in our in our Pokédex. Now, something that I've learned, something that I learned about this, this game is that it's okay, it's okay to not capture, you know, these Pokémon at the lower levels. Eventually, they will be, they will be stronger after you defeat the Elite Four, like around level 60s and all that stuff, and uh, you know me guys, I like to capture Pokemon when they're just fresh, and I like to grow them up myself. The beauty part about this game right here is that it doesn't really matter if you capture a fully evolved Pokemon or anything, you can always go back to the Pokemon Center, and from there you're just gonna, you can actually relearn their moves that you actually want on their, like on, on their move set. so either or, it's fine. For me, it's more of a learning experience than anything because I kind of like, I actually want to see my Pokemon grow. I actually want to put the, the moves that I want on them and all that stuff. But <laughs> this game's made it a little bit easier for me to do so. And that is, I thought that was a shiny Vulpix. And wow, this Pokemon is following the crap out of me. Oh, instead of a Pokemon, I found a trainer. I'll have to check how strong you are. Let's go. So here it is, guys. We are challenged by Schoolboy Marvin. And he's smiling and all that stuff. Okay, so schoolboy, let's go. He's coming out with his Badoo. But guess what? I got myself a good old Optimus, even though it's the same type and all that stuff. So let's go with a double hit right here. And there's the other one. This Pokemon, it is strong. And look at that. Two times. You fainted. Pokemon are growing levels like crazy. I am happy. And he's learning Screech. Let's see, what does Taunt do again? Target's Rage allows you to... Okay, so you don't... Really don't... Really don't need a Taunt right now. And let's go with a Screech. And he's coming out with a Gust of Flower. So, let's go ahead and use Shadow Blade right here. Alrighty. Gust of Flower. Goosey Fleur. That's a pretty good name right there. Very, very good name. Now, there is a Pokemon around here that I actually do want to capture. And quite possibly use on my team too. You know, I want to capture as many Pokemon as possible. That's why I named it box number one, the team's uh, the team's box, because, you know, I want to organize everything. Another thing, too, that these games have taught me is you got to be organized with the Pokemon that you have. Like, what teams go to where, what Pokemon you want on what teams. 
that kind of organization and all that stuff. So eventually when we move on, guys, organize. Impeccable. And, well, hello there. It's our girlfriend, Sonia. Hey, Jeep Challenger. You look real ace out there during the, the, the opening ceremony. Oh, but where's Hop? He went a different way. I really don't care about Hop. Well, you're rivals after all. I guess it makes sense that you train on your own. Oh, I know. Let me tell you about something a bit interesting. You see that building over there? It's a company owned by the Chairman Rose. Really? Just past Route 3, there's a mine where they dig up uh, uh, they dig up ore. That building over there pr uh, processes it into energy. In other words, the chairman is responsible for providing the Gala region with its energy, too. Can't say I really get him, but the chairman seems to be a pretty brilliant guy, right? Here, a little something for having a chin wag with me. It's an escape rope. And look at that. We get ourselves an escape rope right here. And it's going to our key items. Another thing that this game has taken away from us is, well, us spending a lot of money on escape ropes. This is now an unlimited escape rope. So as you can see, a long durable rope, use it to escape instantly from locations like caves or dungeons. It can be used any time, any number of times. I'll heal up your Pokemon too. And look at that, our Pokemon are nice and healed. The way to turf field is pretty long, but that's a kind of challenge It's in its own right. Good luck, Gym Challenger. Alrighty. We're just like savoring the moment that she's walking away because mm, she looks fine. Okay, so here we go. Going back in here and uh, would you look at that. There is a Pokemon there that I've been having my eye on. Now, I'm going to try. Actually, hold on. First off, first and foremost, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Michelangelo. Now, this Pokemon I've had my eye on since I started uh, Pokemon Shield. This, I believe, is kind of like the Geodude of the whole thing. Here we have Roly Coley. It's a pretty cool looking Pokemon right here. Now, uh, kind of want to capture a male. I don't know. This game, like both these games, there's an abundance of female Pokemon, right? And this guy has Steam Engine, which its attack just, or speed goes. And eventually this Pokemon evolves into both a Rock and Fire type Pokemon. Now, one thing that has really, really, uh, one thing that that really made it a, made it a little hard for me is that if I were to do a a gra or a team centered around you know the grass type starter, who's in and who's out? Because both uh, Choodle, Choodle, and Roly Coley are very, very good Pokemon to actually have on your teams. And well, they, there's an abundance of them right here. And look at that, Roly Coley again. Alright, so again, I want to capture the male one. So here we have a male. Let's go right ahead and uh, try and capture this guy. So here we go. And it's using the Smackdown. Laying the, the Smack It Down on our candy asses. And, well, here we go again with another bite attack. And there we go. Okay, so Roly Coley is nice and weak. Let's go ahead and capture this guy right here. It's not quick. It's not a repetitive. Um, screw it. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the Great Ball right here. Now, like I said in the beginning of this whole walkthrough, guys, there's going to be a literal abundance of new Pokemon teams and everything. This game actually, actually enables you to do that. Eventually, I'm going to show you guys the Pokemon jobs. So, there it is. We caught ourselves a new Pokemon. And this guy is Roly Coley, the coal Pokemon. It is just a rock type Pokemon right now, but eventually it evolves into a rock and fire type Pokemon. Most of its body has the same composition as coal. Fittingly, this Pokemon was first discovered in coal mines about 400 years ago. And yes, I will be naming it a pretty cool name right here. Now, I was going to name it Vesuvius, but then I realized, holy crap, I... Yeah. <laughs> I already had a Pokemon named that in Pokemon Omega Ruby. So, we're going to go to the next best thing. This Pokemon evolves into kind of like a um, kind of like a, 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 a volcano of sorts. So, what is the most devastating volcano that we've seen so far or that we've heard of so far? I'm a, I'm a huge history nut. 
And that happens to be Krakatoa. So we're going to be naming this guy Krakatoa. Crack. Uh, crack. Uh, let's see. Crack. There we go. Crack. Uh, Toa. It's a pretty cool name. Pretty cool name. There we go. Krakatoa. Now, if I... If I spelled it wrong, then eventually I can change it again. But here it is. Welcome to the team, Krakatoa. Let's go ahead and add it to our team right here. And, well, so far we don't need Caterpie on our team. I just wanted to evolve it. So we're going to put that guy on our team. And, well, we're going to be moving on right here. See what it can do. Eventually evolve it. And there is a policeman right there, a delivery guy. So we're going to be swapping him out. Let's go with Drago. And battle this guy right here. I'll show you what I carry. Letters and victories. Alrighty. Bring it. So here we go. Challenged by Postman Tad. And let's see what he comes out. Comes out with a Delibird. Now this is probably the worst situation I could be in. Especially since Drago is a Dragon type Pokemon. So let's go ahead. Mm, you know what? It is a very physical Pokemon. So let's go with Headbutt. Look at that. And... I don't think present is a nice type attack. No, it's not. Okay, so here we go. Another headbutt attack. For the win. Let's go, Delibird. Go to sleep. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And our Pokemon are growing level. Shadow Blade grew another level right there. And Postman Tad is just regretting this. Turns out I was carrying your victory. <laughs> kind of looks like one of them, uh, them uh, Nintendo memes or something. Alright, so let's see. Now, here we have a campsite. Go ahead and talk to this lady. If you want to heal up your Pokemon, there's nothing like st setting up your camp and cooking. And uh, cooking them a good meal. Here, you can add this berry to the pot. And look at that. We get ourselves a cherry berry. And, well, let's see. If you ever come across a tent, check it out to join the camp. Whoever set it up. If you'd like, you well, you're more than welcome to visit my camp, too. It's this one right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this camp now. Again, you can grow levels, so let's go ahead and put our good old buddy Optimus right here. And yes, let's go ahead and pay them a visit now. You can actually play with these Pokemon right here, call them out. As it says, in Pokemon Camp, you can you and your Pokemon can play together, even eat together. Growing closer through the experience if your Pokemon grow very close to you. They may even uh, try extra hard for you during a battle. You can play during, uh, using your Joy-Con uh, too. If you slide your Joy-Con off of your system, you can wave one ab about to throw a Pokeball for you, po for your Pokemon to retrieve, or wave a Poke toy for their delight. If you waggle that toy, uh, that Poke toy, you might even entice a Pokemon hanging out further back in your camp to come and play. Wow! When you set up a camp in a wild area, you'll be all able to play a. Be able to play with up to three other Poke uh, trainers at a time. All kinds of people and Pokemon might stumble upon your camp, even those you've never met before. So get to know them as soon as you play together. Okay, so as you can see, we got a, quite a few Pokemon right here. I believe, well, well, all these Pokemon are not mine, but I'm going to call over my Pokemon by pressing A. And look at, a, look at that. Homeboy is looking at me right here. I'm going to take out a toy. And once you take out the toy, you can actually play with them. And let's see. See, as you can see, he's going to be hitting that toy right there. So, come on. Look at that. The more you play with this guy, the more experience points he gets. So, let's go ahead and uh, play some more toys. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's change the toy right here. Here we have... Get the ball, man. Come on, get the ball! Look at that. Receive the ball right here. Let's change the toy again. Actually, that's pretty much it right there. So, let's see. Cooking, leave the tent. Okay, so we're going to be leaving the tent right here. Let's see how many experience points our Optimus got. 60. So, again, guys, this game enables you to really train up your Pokemon to have multiple teams, which I am going to be taking advantage of. So, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. We got a Krakatoa right here, and we kind of want to use them, so let's go ahead and heal them up. And where in the mother-loving HE double hockey sticks is it? Oh, there we go. Okay, so Krakatoa, what's up? Let's do this. Alright, so as you can see, every Pokemon's got a type or two, and every type has a strong point and weak ones. 
Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. You are challenged by schoolboy Peter. Peter! So, here he comes out with a Sizzlipede. Now, this is an interesting Pokemon that I've seen so far. This guy is a bug type, but eventually it will evolve into a fire type. So, Krakatoa, what a good exp uh, what a good time to get experience points by using Smackdown. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, God. And more experience points for all of us. And he's about to send out a Dottler. So, we're going to keep it right here with Krakatoa. All right, Dottler. I see you're looking uh, evolved and all that stuff, but guess what? Laneth the smack it down on your candy ass again. And this guy has some defense, so it's going to be a little tough right here. And here we have Struggle Bug. And that right there lowers our special attack, so I don't think that's our special attack right there with Smackdown, right? It could be. And look at that. More experience points taken away. And here comes a light screen. He's defending... <laughs> He's defending himself from special attacks, so eventually you'll see this Dottler right here evolving into a psychic type Pokemon. So there we go. Say goodbye to Dottler. <laughs> Look at that. And more experience for all of us. Michelangelo grows to level 17. Michelangelo grows to level 17. Yeah, buddy. And he's like, I'm weak to people older than me? Nah, you're just weak, homeboy. You're just weak. Okay, so that is that, and we got some more Pokemon right here. So we're gonna just uh, we're gonna just move aside right here, and there is an item waiting for us. And look at that, we found ourselves a new super potion right here. And well, let's see, what does this say? Gellermine lies ahead. Okay, so the Gellermine is right here, and right now you're gonna be finding a lot more in that mine. So we're gonna pause it right here, guys. In the next episode, we will be going through the Geller Mine and trying to get to the next town. So, thank you guys for watching. Merry Christmas. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.